As a manager of a district heating plant, you are responsible for reliable heating to an entire community. You make sure everyone receives a sufficient high temperature of perhaps 80 to 90 degrees Celsius. But does the temperature need to be that high? A typical district heating network consists of different zones. You have zones with houses, zones with buildings, and industry zones. While an industry zone might need high temperatures, the demand in zones with houses and buildings is much lower. In zones with houses, the hot water might only be used for underfloor heating at a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius and slightly higher at 55 degrees Celsius for hot water production. The low heat demand combined with small pipes in these areas results in high heat losses in the system. Now, if you look at the whole system, the total heat loss is significant and so is the potential for savings. In each zone, the supply line is a branch from the main line and in these intersections, it's easy to change the temperature. By installing a mixing loop based on Grunfoss I solutions, you can adapt the temperature to fit the actual heat demand in the zone and thereby minimizing the heat loss. Let's take a closer look at the unit. The mixing loop takes water from the return line and injects it into the supply to lower the temperature to the needed level. A pump in the bypass ensures that the right amount of cold water ends up in the supply line where a pump is placed on the secondary side to create the needed pressure and flow for the branch. This is done completely without losses in valves or heat exchangers. By monitoring the critical parts of the network with intelligent bypasses or pit measuring points, the mixing loop adjusts temperature and pressure to meet the exact consumer need on a real-time basis, lowering the heat losses even further and improving the comfort on a continuous basis. Now, if you apply the same solution to all intersections of the heating network, the potential for savings is huge. And by distributing the pumps this way, the overall pressures in the system can be reduced, asset lifetime prolonged and energy savings achieved since you are only delivering the pressure and temperature that is actually needed. And not only can you lower the temperature, the real-time monitoring of temperature and pressure will be made easily available for you, providing a great overview and benchmarks revealing potential optimization areas. This data is accessible through smart devices, on the web, and via SCADA systems. Let's sum up the benefits. Significantly reduced heat losses, often greater than 20%. Improved overview of system performance. Reduced pressures in the system. Possibility to integrate low temperature energy sources like surplus heat, geothermal or solar. Lower return temperatures resulting in more efficient energy production. Best possible comfort for the consumers. Improve your system performance with a short payback time. Grundfos iSolutions